I was five years old, playing on the apartment complex playground with my two older brothers. It was a downpour, and we were sliding and dancing in the mud full of childhood joy. That is the last memory I have where I felt like a child. That is the last memory I have of us three kids as a unit. My therapist asks how I feel sharing the story with her, and I say, kind of like I understand why I always want to play in the rain. <laughs> kind of like I wish I remembered what good things happened between then and now. Kind of like I'm grieving siblings I never actually lost while their ghosts <laughs> smile at me in photos pretending the hints don't exist. Kind of like, I can't logic my way out of how fucking sad it is to not have a good memory with your brothers in 25 years. Mm. Kind of like, numbing myself out of this heaviness. And so I do. Mm. I fade my eyes out, remove all emotion as she describes dissociation. On my way home, I scrape my hand on a door hinge. I let it bleed and bubble until finally rinsing it off because isn't that just like me? to prefer dealing with damage I can bandage. Mm. As I wrap the cut, I think about how no amount of gauze could clot their neglect. Mm. No cast can mend the brokenness in this family. There is no ointment capable of curing the years they disowned me. There was no drug left untested as they searched bottles for a sister they left back on that playground. There's no antibiotic for this kind of healing, so I studied how to inject my own kind of lidocaine to avoid it all. And I got good at it. You see, there's a calmness in the numbness, a simple path to breathing and surviving. But I've learned this numbness shows itself more as a lack of joy than a lack of sorrow. So I return to therapy with a bandaged hand and a raw heart and ask her to teach me how to stay present even in the heavy so that I may finally hold on to a good memory. Mm. Mm. Mm.